guys, so today's video is going to be a high-end makeup haul. Well, I consider these like high-end because they're like more expensive than what you would find in like Sephora, but they're not as expensive as like La Mer and that kind of stuff. So I'm just like category categorizing this as um, high-end and not luxury because like I said it's more expensive than some stuff that's in Sephora so I have a few things so if you would like to see what I have what I got please keep watching so to start off this haul I figured I would talk about tools first so I broke down and I got a few of the Artiste brushes I did not buy the full set because I honestly didn't think that I would use the full set and the full set is like $350 like it starts at $350 so I figured I would just get a couple of the ones that I knew that I would use so the first one I have here is the circle one brush and I got this one for lip products and oh, weird they like taped like some you know like that stuff you're not supposed to eat like a dye type of thing in there so it looks like this and then i just got the silver color i believe you can get like different finishing on it finishing different colors you know what i'm saying so i got this one especially to use for my lips and yeah I'm excited to try it like I've heard nothing but really good things and then I also have some cheaper brushes um, that look like this as well so it'll be nice to like compare the two because the cheaper ones I think a full set of those is $25 maybe $30 and like I said the full set of these artiste brushes starts at $350 so maybe I can find a good dupe that would be cool right then the next brush I got is the Oval 8, and this is the foundation brush. <laughs> this brush says that it's slightly smaller than the Oval 10 and has a, a hundred of thousands of fibers in an oval shape to provide application to a large area of face, perfect to apply foundation or setting powder to the entire face, or apply and blend bronzer or highlighter two areas of the face but like I said I think I'm just gonna keep this one for foundation only it still seems really big but I've seen nothing but good things about these so I'm like really excited to give them a try and it is just as soft as everybody says and I like how dense it is and the other thing I liked that people kept saying about these was it doesn't steal the product away like the beauty blender will absorb a lot of the foundation and this is made to um, just spread it evenly around so you can get away with using less foundation from what I understand or what I've picked up on watching other reviews. So again, this is the Oval 8 brush. The next couple of brushes that I got, well three, this one actually came in a set and this comes with the Linear 1, Oval 6, and Oval 3 and this is what the set looks like. So the Linear 1, well let me take it out of the package and then I'll tell you what they say it's for here is the linear one and I believe this is the eyeliner or brow brush you can see it looks exactly like an eyeliner or brow brush and this says it is to concentrate the product along the lash line um, it can also be used for the lower lash line and the upper lash line. It can also be used to fill in to find the brows and lip liner, but I believe I'm just gonna keep this one as an eyeliner or for my brows. I'm not gonna use it for my mouth. Then this bigger one that comes in here, this is the Oval 6, and it's significantly smaller than the Oval 8, the one that I was gonna use for foundation. So this one is for applying product to the entire lid or foundation to the face or you can use it to contour and I wanted this one specifically for cream contouring so that's why I wanted like the set. The last one that comes in the set is the Oval 3 and it looks like this. This one is for corners of the eyelid and smaller areas on the eyelid. It is also used to contour the nose, it says, and this is the Oval 3. So, you can see that. 
I think this would be a really good one for nose contouring. I don't plan on using these for eyeshadow, just for my face. So with that set of three, it came with the Artiste brush cleaning pad. And this is just specifically made to clean those brushes. And then it came with a little bottle of the brush cleaner. So I don't know if you like have to use this or if you can just clean these brushes like how you would normally clean your other makeup brushes, but I don't know. I almost wouldn't want to risk it. So yeah, so I guess I'm just going to give the brush cleaner and the pad a try when I need to clean these brushes. Moving on to some makeup products. I'm going to try to like stick in the same brand, like stick to the same brand through this haul, but we'll see. We know how that goes. So the first brand I'm going to talk about is Lancome. Lancome, my bad. And the first thing I have is this Lancome Translucent Powder. And this says it's silky loose powder, surprisingly soft, featherweight, ultra soothing. It says it is used to absorb, absorb oil, smooth the look of skin, and offer a soft matte finish. So it says directions can be worn alone or over makeup and used to touch up throughout the day. So it comes in like this little box and inside you just get a jar of um, loose powder. <laughs> so this doesn't look translucent to me. It definitely has a color to it, more of like a light concealer color. So inside it has a little puff. I can't really smell anything, but I didn't take it off because I don't want it to spill everywhere, but it looks like a lot of product. And I haven't heard anybody talk about this, so I'm excited to give this a try because I don't think the Laura Mercier translucent powder is all that great. So you get 0.5 ounces or 15 grams of this. The next thing I got from Lancome is the Miracle Cushion, and I got it in 140 Ivory in, which um, I believe N stands for neutral. And I got this because I don't have any other Lancome foundation, so I wanted to give this a try. So it looks like this. And you push this button on the side, and then you get a mirror and a poof thing. And then it looks like the Lumi cushion, and then you just open it up, and then you take this off, and then the foundation is underneath it. So I also want to see if this is a dupe for the Lumi Cushion as well. Even though the Lumi Cushion, I can't talk today. Even though the Lumi Cushion is like $16.99, I think this was like $30 or $40. So I guess at the end of the day, you might as well just buy this, right? So this comes with 0.5 ounces. So the Lumi Cushion does have 5.2 or 5.5 ounces. The next thing from Lancome, I have this Dual Finish um powder and foundation in one and this is the packaging i got this in the color 130 in so when you open it up it comes with another little makeup sponge and this is the compact it's just black with like a little bit of gold so then you push the button this is a nice size compact look how big that mirror is then it has another little poof thing <sighs> Like this, so you get two, and then that's the powder. It smells like old people. So that's what it looks like. I'm excited to try this. The next thing I have from Lancome, I feel like I need to say Lancome, but I'm not going to. So this is the Liquid Glow Trio in Zero One. I believe there is two or three versions of this, so one to three different colors of this. This one is in Glow Vanilla 01. And it looks like this. And you can see like the like glitter shimmery stuff is at the bottom, so. <sighs> so if you can see, all the shimmery stuff is stuck to the bottom. And it looks like it's in like in a rock form and then all this is loose. So I don't know, maybe if I left it upside down overnight it would mix, but that doesn't look very promising. Look at that. What the hell? This thing was like 30 or 40 dollars too. 
So it says shake well before use. Um, I mean, I did that. I don't know how much more I need to shake it. So I got this because I thought it would be like a good primer or maybe like a body kind of like shimmery glow type of substance, but I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. Next. So that's all I have from Lancome. And the next thing I have is from Guerlain. And I got the Terracotta Bronzer. This says it's in 02 Natural for Blondes. And this is the packaging. I don't think I have anything else from Guerlain. But I saw this. Isn't that pretty? It's like Tiffany color. And it's like a rubber kind of packaging. And you open it up. And then you have like a nice little size mirror. It's pretty big. And then the bronzing powder. And you probably can't see it now, but it does look a little red, doesn't it? But it's definitely like a red bronzer. So this will be interesting. It says it's supposed to be for blondes, but I don't know. We'll have to see. But you probably can't see it on camera, but up close it has little gold sparkles in it and you can really see it with a flash. So I thought it was interesting. And again, I wanted to try something from Guerlain because I haven't ever bought anything from them. So I decided I would start with a bronzer first. Let's swatch it. It's really red. Look how red that is. Yikes. Hmm, I guess we'll have to find out, right? The next two things I have are from Giorgio Armani. I jumped on the Luminous Silk Foundation bandwagon and I picked this up. I actually first got it in the shade two and it was like white. Like, I know I'm pale, but it was like white, like no joke. So I took it back and I got the shade five. And I really like the packaging. See, look how pale that is. Now, this is a five. Can you imagine how pale a two is? It was like, I'm serious. It was like legit, like white. But so I decided to jump on this and get this to like everybody else. So I hope I like it because I like dewy foundations. Like I don't like matte foundations at all. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give this a try. And then also from Giorgio Armani, I picked up the Fluid Sheer in number two. This is the same packaging. And this, I believe you can mix it in with your foundation or wear as just like a all over glow. I got it specifically to mix in with my foundation. So you can see it looks like a foundation color. And this is in number two. So here it is right here. I just thought it would be really pretty and it's more of like a skin tone illuminator as opposed to like the gold liquid illuminators or like the silvery ones. I liked it this one because it's more like I said of like a skin tone shimmery. Sh skin tone shimmery I said. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. So the next brand I'm going to talk about is Kevin Aquan and I picked up the Celestial Bronzing Veil and the packaging looks like this. I have his Contour Volume 2 book I got during the VIB sale last, was it fall or winter, I'm not sure when it is, from Sephora and I really like it. I still use it to this day. I like legit can use it for my entire face. Blush, bronzer, eyeshadow and I just, I'm really happy with that so I wanted to try some of his other products so it comes in like this little velvet sleeve and then this is the packaging this looks like the rest of his packaging oh did I break something so this is what it looks like again you have a mirror and then you have the product right there so it's kind of like an ombre effect and is there only one shade of these well it says tropical day so I'm not sure how many shades of these there are but I thought it was really pretty. There is a little bit of shimmer in it. But that's what it looks like. I see myself using this one more than the Guerlain because the Guerlain one was really red. This one looks like a normal 
shade of bronzer that I would typically use. Another thing from Kevin Aquan, I got the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting Illuminator, I believe. And I got this to also mix in with my foundation or use it, you know, as like a primer. So it comes in a container like this. I've heard mixed reviews on this, so I guess I'll just have to see what I think. It's really thick, if you can see. And oh, it's really creamy though. And look how well it blends. It kind of feels like water in a weird way. You know what? This looks almost identical to that Giorgio Armani one. So this one's a little bit more gold. But that's really pretty. This would be really pretty with a tan. I mean, it's a little dark for me right now, but if I mix it with my foundation, I think it would be good. It's pretty. The last thing from a Kevin Aquan, I got the Sculpting Powder in Light. My Contour Volume 2 book that I have from him has the just like medium shade of contour powder and I like it but it is a little too dark for me especially when I'm like this light so then he came out with a light color of it so here let's see okay oh so, comes in this little tiny thing and then this is what it looks like it's not as gray as some of my other contour shades I use so that's what it looks like this is going to be perfect for a nose contour because it's not too dark so that way it won't be like, what am I trying to say? It's going to be easier to contour with without going overboard and then you're like, ah, what did I just do here? So I think that's going to be perfect for contouring. I have one thing from Burberry and this is the Spring Summer Runway Palette and it's in 01 White. And I got most of these things when I went to Vegas. I went to the Sephora that was in the shops at Caesars Palace. And they, like, legit have everything. Like, everything that you see on Sephora.com that says online only, like, this store has it. So I think that is pretty cool. Um, and they have, like, all the high-end brands. So you can actually touch it and not just have to order online and hope for the best. So that's a plus. So this also comes in, like, a velvet sleeve. And the packaging is really nice. Look at that. So nice. And I did use this once. I did, I did, I had to. So you have a mirror and then you have that and there's like a little design in it. I believe this is the only thing I have from Burberry. I wanna try the foundation, but look at that. It's just so pretty. I love it. Like when I pick out highlights, I like silver or pink. Or right now I have like a lilac one on that I really like too, but I don't like the traditional champagne colors or the gold colors. I like this kind of color, silver, pink, or lilac. So pretty. And then I have this Ko Jin Do Aqua Foundation Illuminator, and it looks like this. I really want to get the foundation. I just haven't gotten around to it. So I can't remember where I found this. I might have gotten it online, but I'm not sure. Um, so this is what it looks like, and this is like straight white, which will actually be good for me because I'm so pale. But again, I believe you can use this before your foundation or mix it into your foundation, just like whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, that was like one pump and that's like really intense. It kind of reminds me of the what is it? L'Oreal Lumi liquid stuff. I have that too. But that's intense. I think this will be good for my skin tone right now. It's pretty. Okay, I only have three more products left. So this next thing I got is the YSL Touche Eclat. Um, this is the Blur Perfector, and it says it's a concentrated instant blur natural rosy glow, and this is the packaging. I saw this in the store, and I touched it, and it was like a really weird feeling, so that's why I got it. Honestly, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but so again, it comes with a little velvet pouch and a little puff thing, and this is the packaging. It's really pretty pink and gold. So this is the packaging and 
you have a mirror and then you have the product so what I was thinking you could use this as a primer and then I think you can also put it on top of your foundation and everything when you're done if you start to get oily you can put this on top and it'll immediately blur I'm not sure I'll have to try it but it's like a jelly substance and that's like honestly the only reason why I got it because I thought it was like so weird, but I was playing it with it in the store and it really did like blur out the back of my hand. So I thought that was interesting. Like, I guess we can try a little bit. Let's try a little bit. I don't know, can you tell the difference? I'm not really that oily, I just did my makeup, so. I don't know if it really did anything, but it did blur the back of my hand, like I said, so that's why I got it, and just because I like the way it felt. So if it doesn't work, I'll probably just touch it because I like how it feels. <laughs> the last two things I bought, I didn't really need, but I wanted to say that I own some Tom Ford things, let's just be honest here. So I went to Saks Fifth Avenue, again I was in Vegas, and uh, I was talking to the guy that was working the counter, and he showed me the Radiant Moisture, mo moisture Souffle, and it comes in a box like this, and this was pretty expensive. I did use it once, and then I was like, damn, I need to save this for like special occasions. So. It comes in a container like this. Like how luxurious does this look? And this says, any directions? No directions. So I just was gonna use it as just like a moisturizer, but yeah, I don't know. You get 1.7 ounces and like, I just you know the packaging. So you open it up and then it has like a little thing to protect it and it smells clean like I don't know how else to explain it it just smells it's not floral scent it's not vanilla scent it's like none of those it just has like a clean smell and it does have like so the texture is really thick you see and it has like a little bit of like a golden glow in it and I just think it is so, like like I said, did I need it? No, probably not. But I just, I really like it. Like, it just gives like the perfect amount of glow. So if you didn't want to wear makeup for the day, you could just throw some of this on and out the door. Like, it's so pretty. Like, as soon as my skin starts getting back to normal, I could totally see myself just wearing this. Like, that's it. Maybe some mascara. So pretty. So the last thing I have is also from Tom Ford, and it's the Skin Illuminator in the shade Fire Lust. And the same guy also showed me this, and I thought it was so pretty, and I was like, all right, it's expensive, but I'll probably never use this entire bottle. So that's why I bought it, right? <laughs> Always make excuses. So this is the packaging, right? Like, even if I did get rid of this, or if it was, like, really expired, like, years from now, I would just, like, set it on my shelf because it's that pretty. Um, so yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's like a pink gold peach illuminator. It is just so stinking pretty and it has like a pump on it too. That's probably too much. But he said you could mix this in with your foundation or use as a liquid highlighter or you could use it as a blush or even a highlight. He said you could just do whatever you wanted with it. And I don't know what I would do with it. Maybe I would try it as blush. I'm not sure. But I just think it is so pretty. Like this would be so pretty in the summer with um, a really nice tan and like this just like mixed in with like a normal moisturizer. I think it would be so pretty. Okay, that's it for my high-end makeup haul. As always, I hope you guys saw some things that interest you. I'm excited to try some of this stuff out. Like, I already kind of snuck a few here and there, but um, I will keep you guys updated. Maybe I'll even do like a first impressions video. I've been really liking those lately. Um, until then, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like high-end makeup. And I will see you guys in my next video.